Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I'm going to show you a great survival food that you can plant anywhere in your yard. It's called Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes. You can see that this plant it's almost as tall as I am. I planted this tent plant in the uh, middle of the summer. It's now uh, October. We just got into the fall. If I planted this plant in the spring, it would be taller than I am. I bought the tubers at Whole Foods Market grocery store, and you can plant them just like you plant potatoes. I just broke off pieces of the tubers and stuck the pieces in the ground, and they very quickly sprouted and it is a very prolific plant. It grows very fast. It reproduces. Uh, it pr produces a lot of tubers. Uh, you can eat the tubers just like you would a potato. You, they're excellent raw. You just dig them up out of the ground, wash them off, and you can eat them raw. I like to slice them up and put them in my salads. You can also cook them. You can cook them uh, any way that you want to, like you would cook a potato. And the nice thing about this survival food is people will not recognize this as being a food and people might uh, raid your garden and steal your produce or they might steal the fruit from your orchard but they're not going to steal your Jerusalem artichokes, sunchokes, because most people will not recognize this as being food. They won't realize, they'll think you just planted these nice pretty flowers in your yard. And they won't realize that underneath these is an excellent food, excellent survival food. You plant it one time, it keeps coming back, it keeps spreading, reproducing, comes back every year. Over here, I planted some in pots. You can grow them in pots. They grow better in the ground, they grow larger and produce more food but you can grow them in pots. Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes. You can just buy them in the grocery store, buy sunchokes at the grocery store, break off some pieces, plant them in the ground. You don't have to plant them once. They reproduce, come back every year and they spread like crazy and they grow an abundance of delicious survival food. How hungry would you have to be to eat this fella? The Bible actually talks about certain insects that are considered biblically clean to eat and insects with jointed legs for hopping such as grasshoppers and crickets are considered biblically clean to eat. Not that you can't eat other insects, of course you can, but uh, personally my preference would be to eat these insects first. So don't overlook these as a potential source of survival food. And while I'm here showing you my sunchokes, I'll show you my front yard garden. This is a box garden I planted in my front yard. Here's the street over here. My house faces the south and I found out that plants grow much better in my front yard. I have a garden in my backyard, but plants actually grow a lot better in my front yard because they face the south. This is my fall garden or my cold weather crops. Over here on the left I have turnips. In the middle I have several varieties of lettuce. I need to thin these out and I will eat these as I thin them out. And on the right here I have some uh, cauliflower and broccoli. And over here in this box garden I have a little uh, plum bush that I planted this year. Down here is my lettuce. And this, I'm thinning this out each night. We'll thin out a few of these and we'll have that for a salad. This is Survival Doc reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.